Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Thank you for coming back to the channel and wanting to see what I got to say on a particular family member. He might not consider us family, but y'all know how we are. There's Chanel's family for this world. We go everywhere when we take the family with us. And that's you all, my, my co-host. But I don't know if I'm getting soft on Simon or the pictures are just, te- just a telltale sign of who this man may be. Okay. Now, he's in Costa Rica where he spends most of his time. I don't know what he's doing down there, okay? Maybe it's just relaxed. Maybe it's a little bit something else. But as long as there's no illegal transactions are being made, I'm cool with it. When was the last time you saw Simon with his three younger kids? Never, right? I knew it. It was always Portia was in the way. Portia was trying to do this and the third. And the kids were really thrown to the wayside. All right, but we got Simon Kabadia here. He's still in the same outfit, but it's cool. It's okay. But uh, yeah, somebody's trying to check Simon in this particular uh, what do you call it uh, comment section, and he's getting them together in his own little way. But anyway, you see, you see his kids, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful scene. One thing I don't like about it is I see Miss Diane official is. On his comment section, which is piss poor as a parent, which is piss poor as a parent. We got grown ass people up in here. We don't need seasoned people up here liking photos. Miss Diane, you need to do something with your time, baby girl. You need to do something else with your time or stay under your daughter's profile. That's all I got to say because I have a son in law and I love him to pieces. Okay, like I birthed him my own self, but I don't go up under his Instagram accounts. His Facebook accounts and say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because I give them love and attention, you know, all the time. I, and I kind of try to stay off my daughter's page sometimes too. But, you know, she's my biological child. And I like to uh, keep feeding her the right, uh, what do you call it, the right essence, I should say. On that she's doing a good job. I like what she's doing and continue on and have many, many, many successes. Uh, success with what she's trying to do with YouTube. But I don't really like uh, Miss Diane. I know the comment section, but that's something I'm going to have to deal with, okay? It's my f- my fault, okay? It's, it's my Achilles heel. But anyway, going back to the pictures, I just wanted to point that out. This young man, the other young man, and the other young lady, they are beautiful. I hope this is a relic or a castaway type of plane because I don't see them getting in that plane going anywhere. So maybe it's just a photo op. But I am liking Simon spending time with his kids while Portia is away in Thailand doing what she do to, I guess, appease him to hopefully put him on the map of celebrity ship life, which I don't know why people want to put themselves in fishbowls and the whole idea of them having a loving family and being able to go around the world without being, uh, you know, feeling like people are just too close to them and they just want to enjoy their family time. They don't want fans, fanatics coming at them in all shape, forms, and fashions about getting the autograph, taking a selfie, this, that, and the third. And y'all shouldn't be doing that anyway because, oh, it is still out there and she's still kicking ass, okay? But I wear my mask. I wear it religiously, all right? Be hot as hell up in there sometime when I'm out shopping in the uh, streets and stuff or when I'm at work. But it's, the air conditioner is kind of 
keeps cool throughout the whole seasons of the year still cold but when you step outside oh my god talking about hard pressed to be ready to get in some air conditioner uh that's just me that's my plight i know y'all didn't come here for that but again this is another serene peaceful moment when he was in that hotel in costa rica or a rented house or whatever he got going on it showed a different side it sort of it showed a different side for me, guys. I was liking it. I don't know where his uh, socks is. His uh, shoes might be a little funky when you take them off if he's a heavy, heavy sweater. But, cause, you know, kids got on uh, socks. I don't know why he ain't got on no socks. He need, probably need to have on them sock, them orthopedic socks that keep uh, the blood running free through his legs. But that's neither here nor there. And it's mostly meant for diabetics who have swelling. But uh, compression socks is what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yes, I love, love, love this scene of him taking responsibility and showing off his kids, his biological kids. That's what you do. You don't substitute your other um, girlfriend kid into the, you know, into the uh, picture and think it's all good and it's all gravy. No, PJ has a daddy. He does real well with showcasing her. But this is the scene that I wanted to pay more attention to. He kind of looked like my uncle. Mm -hmm, my uncle Lee. How he used to cross his legs and he's sitting intently looking or listening at something or talking with someone and he's giving them their full attention. Now Simon seems very peaceful. And the damn house in Costa Rica is more decorated and lived in than the one he stays here in Santa Springs in Atlanta. From what he showed us, you know. I'd be out on the streets looking, be on the sidewalk waiting for him to come home and my boys are just to be invited to come in and have commentary with them. But they've been going here and there and they had had the time for me to uh, come over there and stop and look and invest my time in doing videos on them. Okay. But I like the way he's looking at his daughter. It's like she's the apple of his eye. She's loving spending time without Portia all up in the mix. And she's enjoying her daddy uh, daughter time. And I love it. I love it. This is such a serene picture. And whoever's taking this picture, they caught the moments to tug at your heartstrings. And Simon looks exactly like Simon. He don't look Photoshopped. And that's what I'm saying. If Portia can't accept him for who he is right there. Then why are y'all even doing this marriage thing? And why you keep saying in your, uh, we call it, comment section, Portia's husband? You are not Portia's husband unless y'all don't jump the broom and then tell nobody about it. Did you do anything? In, did you get married in Costa Rica, Simon? And, and you know, because you, you can't go around saying Portia's your wife and Portia going around saying you are her husband when well, y'all not solidified in court documents, okay? I'm talking about court documents signed, sealed, and delivered. Because, Simon, if you died today, no pun intended, don't wish death from up upon you. What would you leave Portia? Nothing. Unless you got a wheel we don't know about or she don't know about. So don't arbitrarily be using these words of husband and wife when technically legality looking at it from that standpoint, you're not. So my thing is, if you want to be sincere and be for real in what you're trying to put out him, go on and marry her. And that, you know, have the wedding or whatever shit for TV. Do that later on down the road. But it seems like you have two sides to you. You have the yin and the yang, the good and the bad. When you're at this point, what I'm looking at now, this is what you should be showing the world. And who you are in this, that, and third. And just tell the world, hey, you are somewhat retired and you're still making money. You don't work for nobody. It just is what it is. Okay? And then maybe some of us, not all now, and you know, I'll come back and get you in a heartbeat if you change up on me. Uh, we might see a different side of you. That, yes, you have money. You're not going to put yourself in a billion down millionaire club, but you can live comfortable with what you're doing. Because the Real Housewives of Atlanta, to me, it's not really how much money you have or how much clout you have on the street. It's just you're sh supposedly be showing us your reality and how you get down. But see, everything has come so commercialized, so much over the top. You got to have a million or a billion or a trillion in the accounts for anybody to want to care about you or you have a storyline to bring no you should bring the honest storyline as i work hard for what i 
I have attained. I do this on the side and I live comfortably. That's how. That's all you have to say. But when you get into that million dollar, billion dollar status, people start dissecting. They start subtracting, subtracting, and subtracting. And then you become a thing and not a person anymore. Because they're trying to break through those layers of, that you don't build up falsely. That you're this, you're that. Instead of just being a human being, being with your kids, listening to your kids, and spending time with the family. Because one thing that really kind of sort of disturbed me a little bit about this video I'm doing is when your kids, or better yet, your, um, your baby girl was saying she wanted y'all to have more kids. And I was like, okay, if you and Portia as close as you said, because she said, I want you to have two boys and a girl or a boy and a girl. And then you exchange something uh, as a reply back to her that uh, you don't want any more boys. You don't want any more boys. Instead of putting it just like it is. Well, baby, we have PJ. You can um, be, y'all will be sisters, stepsisters, but it'll be, you can just form a, a sisterly bond. But I ain't trying to crank out no more for y'all because y'all don't have to raise the child. Y'all will be going on, doing your whole thing, being in and out. And I'll be stuck, tr um, what do you call it, um, changing diapers and doing baby talk here and there. And y'all going to be gone. And I ain't got time to be having all these nannies up here either. And I don't know why we don't have a black nanny or an Asian nanny. We keep seeing the same Italian nanny or, or white nanny. What's going on? We can't take none. You, you know, you don't take them on trips either, Simon. See, you're being airheaded again, Simon. You're being over yourself. You're being over the top. Because anything, you should have somebody of your native language, your native tongue, your uh, culture watching over your kids. You see what I'm saying? And you can always have them speak, do, you know, taking classes to speak different cultures and this, that, and the third. But you are Liberian, as last time I thought you were. Family, get in the comments and try to correct me if I'm misunderstanding. So, it, to me, it's like you should have Liberian roots. You should have Liberia uh, staff working for you. You don't think they're good enough? They have to be American, Western type people or Italian type people. Ah, oh, Simon, 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 you are a work of art, but we can, we got time to uh, dissect you here and there. I don't have that much time like I used to uh, be, you know, coming and seeing what's going on at the house and this, that, and the third. You know, I, I mean, I just want to give you some room because you was fairly doing fairly well over there, but um, I'm just basically tuning in on what you're letting me see with the serenity you have and the peace you have. See, it ain't no real fictitious pictures being exposed on you. It seems like those are more to your liking of who, what you really look like. And it's okay. And if Portia can't accept it, then tell her to hit the road, Jack. You got a moving van waiting for her to cut up anyway. From what you told Dennis when y'all was over there in Mexico. Okay. So I don't see, I don't, I don't understand why you don't have that same energy when Portia is around you, guys. It should be encompassing the whole family, you know, your three kids, her one child, and then it should be some time for you and her. And that's what you should be showing us from this standpoint on. I'm not going to give you any more direction. You know, I give it here and there. You either take it for what it's worth or leave it alone. I, I don't know. You, you kind of impressed me when you were listening a little bit, you know, earlier on. Then you just got caught up in the hoopla of the fantasy world that y'all trying to be in this fishbowl of Hollywood socialites or Atlanta wood socialites. When it ain't nothing but a bunch of pretentious people flaunting what they may have or may not have and trying to stay in the circle of the who's who. Now, when you leave this plane of existence and when you get asked by the man up above, what did you do to try to help somebody? What, is the, what are you going to tell them, Simon? Mm -hmm. What are you going to tell them, honey? Because a sister want to know. A sister wants to know just what you're going to be able to say on that faithful day. Because we are all going to be uh, viewed and... and uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, judge. And he's the best judger of them all. Because he knows our mind and our heart. Only people can speculate that know us. But he knows because he created us. But it was very 
a telltale sign when you said what you said. And I was like, I said, I was kind of disturbed. You know, I'm kind of like, wait a minute. The kids are separated on PJ. Are the kids separated on PJ? They don't see her as a, a person that's coming into their family. And they don't see her as a little sister already. What kind of shit you got going on here, Simon? That's the only thing I had that I was saving to the last to get into your ass about. What do your kids feel that you and Portia are doing? Y'all playing house. Y'all saying, oh, you know, that's my wife. That's my husband. And all this shit. But the kids ain't even. The kids ain't even tuning in on that shit. Because they must know something that you're not trying to tell us. You and Portia. Y'all trying to goop us, ain't you? Instead of y'all just enjoying each other's time. Leave that wedding shit alone, okay? Because it ain't going to benefit you or her at all in the long run. It's not. Okay? And y'all just need to take at least three or four years to just get to know each other Portia need to go on back to her house you need to stay in your house and y'all need to develop the family unit okay because i saw much so I, I saw so much peace and serenity in these pictures of you and your kids vacationing just you and your kids you see where i'm going with it and it seems like those pictures were definitely a telltale sign that your kids were missing you if you look through the pictures and you just you know just being free willed and you just looking at them and dissecting them they really love you simon and they really want you to spend some time with them because i promise you when they get in high school you ain't gonna be able to check them people they're gonna be gone they're gonna be trying to be with their friends they ain't gonna listen to you or none of that okay you can put them on punishment you can lock them up and let them just get out for school but then they're homeschooled so they always free but you, you think they're going to be wanting to listen to you? No, they're not. I'm going to tell you, I'm just giving you a wake up call. When teen hit 13 and all the teens going to 19, they're going to give you hell. Okay. Because they're going to be trying to figure out who they are, what they can do, what they feel life is all about. And some things they're going to feel you're contradicting. So get ready, Simon. Get ready. Because you just said in your own voice, they ain't scared of nothing. And trust and believe when they want something and they you're standing in their way, you're going to see how the personalities are going to come out. And you're going to be like, did I raise these kids? Did, did, what did I do wrong? You're going to have those conversations with yourself. But let's just get on into what the kids was expressing to you and how you were expressing your thoughts back to them. Hold on. Be your age. Hold on, something went wrong, y'all. Hold on. Here we go. But to be honest, we already be your age. Actually, Dad, we're yeah. plus some younger siblings so we can make them our mini me. You want yes. to have more kids? Yes. yes. Yes, get some more kids. Yes, get two more kids, a girl and a boy. <laughs> we're begging you. I'm not I, children. I, I, I have too 40. many boys. I don't want any more boys. Get two girls then. Because I'm your favorite person in the whole entire world besides your mom and your dad. That what now? I'm your favorite person in the world besides your mom and your dad. I know it. Who said and that? And your grandma and your papa. <laughs> yes, that's true. And your wife. And Christian's eating his toes. Yes, I love toes. Not this game. Um, and your fortune. Actually, your fortune is the person. And mine. So you want two more girls? And your toes. Yes. Yes, we want boys and girls. No, we want girls only. Why? You guys are psychos. I want to teach these girls how to paint their nails and watch stuff I like. Except you, you guys teach them to be cowboys. The world doesn't need many you. Yes. <laughs> I'm amazing. I'll be the favorite brother and then they'll love me. Okay. Now, y'all heard it from the kids' mouths. They didn't say anything about baby girl PJ. Now, did they? No, they didn't. And if they were as smart as Simon portrays them to be, they would have said something about PJ. Because I did hear the oldest one saying something and your wife. And I am guess I'm assuming he's talking about Portia. Okay, so if you have gotten married, so I'm going to tell us sister, go on and tell the masses. But if you haven't got married, see how you fucking up these kids' minds. They already done accept Portia as their mother. And uh, and uh, I guess you're trying to get PJ to accept you as her dad or her stepdad. But none of this is in writing. You see what I'm saying? You could die tomorrow and then 
unless the wheel has been changed or you have made final decisions on how your wealth is supposed to be split up, is Portia in there? Is PJ in there? Or is it going to become a situation where your ex-wives and the children are going to be against Portia and baby girl PJ? I mean, these are things you should already be thinking about. These things are all to already be taken care of. You know, having a conversation with your kids while Portia is present. You know, if you're trying to tell us that y'all really love each other, y'all into each other. And it's not a publicity stunt where we know some celebrities get reality stars. Let me take it back. Reality stars, not celebrities, because I don't see them in the same boat. Okay? I don't see them in the same boat. But uh, that's all I had of this video, guys. Like a love, gotta have more. You know, I'll be here trying to pump them out for y'all when I do have time. Okay, but again, Miss Diane Official, I don't really think you should be under your daughter's boyfriend page the way you are. I, I, it's just disrespectful, and you should really be checking yourself about that. Okay, because you're in their world, but you're not their world, if you understand what I'm saying to you. But then again, you in your late 70s, close to your 80s or something to that, that, that degree, because you'll never see your mama and your Instagram account trying to say this, that, and the third. She ain't got time for that shit, okay? And really, you should not have time for that shit either, Miss Diane. What is from, what, wait a minute, what's the name? Hell, I forgot the man's name. Uh, Larry, where the hell is Larry? Where's Larry, okay? You need to take Larry's. If you're still together with him, you need to take some of his advice and stay that stay your ass off of social media or at least stay your ass off of your daughter's boyfriend's page, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just really keeping it real because you're really getting on my nerves with that shit, okay? I need to see Portia and him. I don't need to see the mother and the mother of the mother. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't need to see the three generations or four generations we put Portia and her daughter in it. But again, I digress. It's not about me. It's about them. And I'm just on the outside looking in because I'm nosy as hell. Okay? But I, that's what I do. I get the, get the news and I report it to y'all how I viewpointed it. And then y'all do y'all own due diligence and see was I correct? Was I wrong? Was I off the mark? Or y'all can give me some insight that I totally forgotten about. Okay? It happens that way. It happens. And I'm a person that I can grow. I can be understanding. I can look at viewpoints from all sides. Okay? But it's always one, two sides where one is telling the other, you know, it's always a, a, a two sides to where it's the man's version, it's the woman's version, and then the truth lies somewhere in the middle. And it has to be dissected out properly for it all to play logically piece together okay but that's all i got y'all y'all have a great weekend and i'll be coming back several times trying to pump out videos for your enjoyment when you get tired of life you know you get tired of just going with the rick and roar and you just need some peace and some uh little entertainment okay so i like y'all i love y'all and i will see y'all next video Bye bye